Okay, so you have an inverter or you're thinking about buying one and you're probably wondering what size cable should I use? Hi, I'm Justin from Wagon Tech, and in this video, I'm going to explain all that you need to know about choosing the right cable for your inverter. So to answer your question, the cables you need are based on how long the cable needs to be and how many watts you'll be running. You'll need to know what distance from the inverter to the battery and back again. If the cable from the inverter to the battery is five feet, then the round trip distance is 10 feet, which is five feet to the battery plus the five feet back to the inverter. This is the big question. You may have a 10,000 watt inverter, but only plan on using 8,000 watts max. If you never plan on using the 10,000 watts, you should size your cables for the 8,000 watt load. To calculate watts using amps, Multiply the volts times the amps and you'll get the wattage. To calculate the amperage from wattage, take the wattage and divide it by the voltage. So now I'm gonna show you how to use these charts to find the correct cable gauge for your inverter. For your convenience, we've created these charts to help you locate the correct cable gauge. You can take a look at these charts at our blog with this link right here. To be certain that you're looking at the correct chart, we have one for 12 volt, one for 24 volt and 48 volt systems. Most common systems are 12 volts. Now take a round trip cable length and find it on the left side of the chart. Next, locate the power inverter wattage you'll be using on the top of the chart and find the point at which both lines intersect. This is the cable gauge that you need for your application. Now that you've located your cable number, what does that mean? If it's just a number by itself, like a six, four, two, zero, 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 et cetera, then it represents the American wire gauge size. This is the standard electrical wire number read as six AWG, four AWG, et cetera, and is universally understood. If the number ends with a K designation, it is short for KC mil. KC mil and MCM cable gauge sizes are interchangeable numbers for large diameter wire cables. MCM numbers are read as 350 MCM or 500 MCM. Important note, don't forget the fuse. At the bottom of the chart is the recommended fuse for your inverter. The fuse should be placed in line on the positive battery cable, on the plus or red colored cable, and within one foot or 12 inches from the battery. And that's how you find the correct cable gauge for your inverter. If you find this video helpful, click subscribe for more content related to power inverters and other products. Give us a like and comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.